Okay, groundbreaking blood screening tool that could help detect breast cancer could soon be used in Australia. Joining us live with more on this is Jane Shaw, the Executive Director at BCAL Diagnostics. Jane, appreciate you making the time. Thank you. Now, nobody finds mammograms much fun. Could this blood screening test that you're developing replace that experience for women or is what we're talking about here more of a, a supplementary test? At this stage, it's going to be a supplementary test used alongside mammography. So um, mammography is the gold standard for breast cancer screening at this time. But if you think about it, you also can go for an ultrasound. Um, you can also have different tests as well that complement this. So at this stage, the blood test is going to be used alongside mammography. And ultimately, as the research and development continues, we would hope that it could be used um, for monitoring after you've had breast cancer. Okay, so as you point out, you're still in the R&D phase here, yeah. but tell us about the early results. Just how accurate has the screening test found to be in those early trials? Yeah, so the screening test to date is about 88% accurate with a 90% sensitivity. And we've been working very closely with breast surgeons, um, uh, oncologists who specialised in breast cancer, and working with them around where they want the sensitivity and specificity to be um, with this test. So they felt that the science was at a robust and repeatable level that we could uh, introduce it as a, another diagnostic tool to complement mammography. And so what's the timeline from here? How many more hoops do you need to, to jump through until this is actually available for widespread use? Yeah, so we've been working on the test for the last 14 years um, of scientific development, both in Australia and also in the US. We opened our laboratory yesterday in North Ryde, which was a key milestone for the company. And what we're doing now is we're calibrating and validating and getting the laboratory accredited. And what we actually need now is further um, blood samples, basically, um, from members of the community. So people that want to participate in our uh, clinical studies, they can participate if they go to the bcaldiagnostics.com website and um, basically register um, to be part of the clinical studies. So the process is now is that we continue to uh, validate the test and the more samples we have, the further validation we require. And we're also working in parallel um, with the regulatory authorities with the TGA. Okay, so assuming all goes well, and I realise that might be a big assumption at this stage, but in an ideal world, how would you like to see this working in, in practicality, really? I mean, could this test be added onto a standard blood test regularly? A woman could get one once a year, perhaps, and that would then help alert GPs to any changes? Is that what you foresee? Yeah, that's right. So at the moment, only 50% uh, of women who are eligible for mammography actually have a mammogram for the reasons you identified. It's painful, it's uncomfortable, it's, um, there are uh, cultural reasons why people don't actually have a mammogram. So the way we envisage it working at the moment is uh, you'd go for your mammogram and you'd have a blood test at the same time. I don't know if you remember cervical screening a few years ago, but you'd go for your um, pap smear and they'd, um, the, the GP at the time would say, would you like a more accurate test or a combination test? and you'd have a test called the thin prep at that time. So the test is really important that it's introduced as an adjunct with mammography. And you've got to remember that women um, have, or a lot of women have lumpy breasts, they have dense breasts from one to four, and it's quite difficult at some, at some stages to actually um, read those mammograms accurate, accurately. So it's another diagnostic tool for the clinicians to make an informed decision whether somebody has got breast cancer or not. In terms of the scientific studies... So, Jane... Sorry. Oh, I was just going to ask you, in terms of how this could be used more broadly, could blood tests like this pick up other cancers? Is this the sort of future we're looking at here, that we could actually do a simple blood test and, and it would alert us to, to all sorts of cancers that could be growing in our bodies? Absolutely. Um, cancer... Um starts in the body at a molecular level. It, it starts with cell changes. And so that's uh, fundamentally going to be through blood tests in the future. Now, many companies are looking at proteomics, mRNA, and there's obviously gene testing for um, breast cancer. However, in terms of the, the diagnostic testing going forward, I, I personally believe it'll all be at the molecular level. 
we are looking at lipids, which is unique. They're the fats in the bloods, and we've developed a signature or an algorithm that can detect whether you've got breast cancer or not. So it's taking the bloods, it's using AI, machine learning, and some mass spec equipment in the laboratory that will give you the result. So it's a combination of bloods, data analysis, and uh, you know, great statistical analysis. And sure, we are all very pleased that there are such clever people working on projects like this. Best of luck with it all. We hope that you uh, continue to uh, kick some goals in this space and really look forward to seeing where this goes. Thanks so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you.